Thank you so much for joining us here at What's Trending, where we tell you what's happening on the digital platforms and the developments on the social media applications that we have, that is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp. And today we'll be telling you more about changes in these particular platforms. So first of all, today we start with uh, Raila Odinga versus IBC. That's the first trend here in Kenya. Then we have an interesting story about Twitter account suspended over a mosquito. You'll know what that is all about. Then WhatsApp goes corporate and Facebook offers millions for music copyright on their platform. And then a video of an of a when your towel is in the next room. So let's start it from the very top. Here are the trends as we mentioned them. So let's first start with the very first trend, which is Raila versus IABC. Of course, IABC announced the new dates for the presidential, for the repeat presidential elections after they were announced by the Supreme Court. And Raila yesterday uh, publicly said that he does not agree with the dates. Uh, reason being, he was not consulted. And also he says he'll not take part, they will not take part in the election until the stipulation Related um, changes are made of changing the, some of the commissioners in the in the IBC team. So let's look at some of the tweets uh, on the social media platform. This is on Twitter where Nganga, the blogger, says, Arela Odinga rejects the date set by IBC to conduct fresh elections. He says he needed to be consulted. Of course, he said this decision should not be a unilateral decision. It should be a decision that should have been made in consultation with the participants or rather the presidential elections. Something else he disputed, of course, was the fact that IBC said that only two presidential candidates will be participating in this uh, general, in these repeat elections. Um, and he said that this should include all the eight presidential candidates and should not be left just to him and, and Uhuru, President Uhuru Kenyatta. Uh, a. Karani on Sumu here says, if students and teachers caught in exam cheating are suspended and arrested, why should Chiloba and Co. be free? That is hashtag Raila versus IEBC. Of course, conversations happening are that uh, the officers or rather the commissioners who participated in the last elections and who be found to have made uh, the illegalities in the, uh, in the, in the telling or rather in the announcing of the results should be prosecuted. Eric Derrick here says, Baba suggests that if exams are pushed by two weeks, children will not die. Question is, if elections are held on 17th, will he die? That's Eric um, Eric Derrick there, uh, his comment. And then one last tweet from Amezuka says, I wonder why IBC is pushing for the election to be held on 17th of October. Hashtag Raila versus IABC. So that is one of the conversations we'll be following to see new developments that will be happening uh, in the next few days. Now let's move on to a rather interesting story here of a Twitter account suspended over a mosquito. So a guy in India, uh, tweeted on his Twitter account, of course, uh, saying that a mosquito had bitten him. And of course, he went, and, uh, he went ahead to say that he'll kill the mosquito and he'll make sure that it's dead. Or rather, sorry, rephrase that. He said that he will snap the mosquito and make sure that it's dead. And this is a message he got from Twitter after tweeting that, thank you for using Twitter. Your account has been frozen because it was used to send messages containing threats. Tweets containing threats are not allowed under our terms of service. The account cannot be reactivated. Thank you for your understanding. So of course, this is one of those very interesting uh, stories that are developing and people are talking about it. Remember, Twitter has been trying to uh, stop cyberbullying and threats and um, on their platform. And of course, they use some keywords to make to capture some of the messages um that would have die, murder, kill, and him and that account user having used those terms, of course, was blocked and his account has been deactivated. Now let's move on to another social media platform. Uh, WhatsApp goes corporate. So right now, WhatsApp is going corporate such that businesses will be allowed to use WhatsApp either for, for their clients to make bookings and also they'll have a verification for all WhatsApp, all WhatsApp groups for businesses. At the moment, it's at a pilot program. A pilot period where they're testing businesses that could use this and I believe this is going to be one of the biggest development for this uh, WhatsApp 
application and most businesses will be looking forward to using it. Remember, the conversations uh, will be encrypted so that your information is not seen by the users. And one, uh, let's move on to the next uh, story about Facebook offers millions for music uh, copyright. Facebook uh, reached 2 billion users just the other day. And right now, they want to get access to music copyright from musicians. And this is because uh, they they want when people upload their uh, videos on social, on Facebook rather when they use the backtrack of music played uh, music by musicians it's always pulled down so they want to get copyrights to this so that they can have the rights to this and remember they are paying millions of dollars to these. Um, uh, to corporations, major record labels, and also music publishers. Of course, they're battling YouTube to be the biggest uh, account holders for music videos. And that brings us to the end of what's trending for today. Thank you for joining us, and back to you, Betty.